Welcome to Brain Academy. Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about free fall and weightlessness. Uh, so first of all, let's look at free fall. So let's say there's a big airplane. Mm, okay, it, it's, it looks tiny, but just imagine it's a big airplane. And a person jumps from this plane towards the surface of Earth. Now, when this person jumps off the airplane, this person is being attracted by the gravity towards the surface of Earth. That's why he or she falls. Now, when a person is falling under the influence of gravity and gravity alone, then that kind of fall is called free fall. Now, is this person falling under the influence of gravity alone? No, because there are a little bit of air molecules in the space here. So these air molecules is actually preventing the fall a little bit and due to this region it's not actually complete free fall but sometimes we just assume or neglect these air molecules and in those scenarios this fall is taken as free fall so free fall is the fall of a body of a body under the influence of gravity alone so if a person is falling under the influence of gravity alone then that's free fall and let's uh, add some something more without any external resistance external resistance then that is called free fall he is called free fall So like I told you, this is not complete free fall, but in normal circumstances, we just ignore these air molecules and it is considered as free fall. And that's all about free fall. Thank you. Now let's look at weightlessness. To understand uh, weightlessness, what you need to understand is first of all weight. So a weight is actually a uh, earth or the surface of the earth pulling a person towards its center. So let's say th there is this person and this is a huge earth. Let's imagine. And this person is being attracted towards earth due to gravitational force and that force is actually weight. Now this person feels this uh, force uh, or the gravitational force of earth because there is a surface of earth. So what will happen if, let's say, this person falls from an airplane or, let's say, in, in case of free fall. If this person jumps off an airplane, what will happen is the earth is still attracting this person. But since there is no s surface here, he's in air, he won't feel like he's being attracted towards the surface of earth or like he won't feel his weight. In this situation, he feels like his weight is zero. And this condition is called weightlessness. Now, we can uh, experiment this. So, if you put a weighing machine when he falls here, and if we look at this weighing machine with a camera, then this weighing machine will say, so zero weight when he's falling. Because there is no surface and there is no reactant force, as a result, his weight seems to be zero in this condition, and that condition is called weightlessness. So we can define weightlessness as the condition when, not the real weight, but the apparent weight, like it seems like the apparent weight of our body, seems zero is called weightlessness so during free fall the weight of this person seems zero and that condition is called weightlessness 
Now, this happens during freefall. Uh, it also happens uh, in spacecrafts in outer space. And that's it. That's weightlessness for you. So there is reason why you feel weightlessness. Uh, there is actually reactant force and a lot of other things. But for now, we'll just uh, discuss up to here. Thank you.